Hello fellow EDH enthusiasts, welcome to MTGO Matchups. We are going to play a game. Today we are facing off against Kemba. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. I am looking forward to this match. Kemba is usually a Voltron general, mostly because of her ability to put out white cats, based on however many equipment she's wearing. Mistform, I'm sure you've seen, and if you haven't, Mistform is awesome. He is every creature type, which we play to very heavily by running roughly one million lords. Um, three lands, but a huge hand of five and sixes. Uh, I think I'm going to have to mulligan. Not much better, but we have a much more practical curve in this case. All we need to do is draw into one or two lands, and I think we're... Oh my goodness, he's going to three... Um, I, I don't, I have enough lords as it is, I just need lands. This is, ouch, okay. So, well, turn one is pretty, let's go away. Pretty uneventful for us. Not a whole heck of a lot. Hopefully next turn we draw into a land, otherwise, I, I don't like relying on turn three land drops, drawing into them at the same time. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What this means is next turn we could do Grand Architect into Sign of Una, and then on the turn of Sign of Una we can also tap Grand Architect and Sign of Una to get Solemn Simulacrum and ramp us even further. So, we, we have our line of play. Mm-hmm. High Tide, great draw. Give us a lot of mana. Just what we want to do. So. Hopefully, I mean, if he paths, it's not the end of the world. It's not great. We still get our land. If we get nailed with... Swords to Plowshares, we're still going to be okay because we can High Tide and then use Solemn. Not the best use of High Tide, but we'll still get to 4, which is where we want to be for Mist Form Ultimus. Um, I guess he's in a run out, he's, yeah, he's in a run out Kemba at this point. Yep. Coat of Arms, oh. That is just what we want to see. But not really, because Kemba's going to be huge. So, we are going to tap an untapped blue creature. Tap an untapped blue creature. We are going to pay four mana. To get Solemn, we will happily yield the Solemn Simulacrum's trigger. Get ourselves an island. Uh, yes, please. Solemn gets a lot of flack. Um, in competitive, he's actually quite slow. You don't really want to be tapping out to get a basic at that point. If you're playing less competitively, I think he's a fun card. He's a great way to sack for a card draw, and if you can recur him a couple times, he does do some decent work. Like right now, he's probably going to provide us with a decent blocker. We'll draw a card. Um, we'll be able to play Mistform Ultimus and have, like, it's, it's, at this point, I'm pretty happy with it. What are we going to see here? Yep. Mono white can tend to be a bit laggy in terms of how quick it goes. You run a lot of mana rocks because you just don't have the utility or the like the rituals that red and black do, does, or the blue has untapping artifacts, so you can do stuff with that. Green has just straight ramp. Um, that is a great equipment for Kemba. She gets huge the more she has on her, and of course she wants to have tons on her. So, yeah. Oof. Okay. At this point, I'm just going to cast Misform. We'll wait and see if we can... If he can load up with equipment on Kemba, we can then basically steal Kemba. At which point, I think our opponent will probably scoop. Not the nicest way to go about it, but 
I mean, it's a win, and we're playing EDH, and as much as a, as a social format as it is, we are also playing to win. So, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what he does. As long as he doesn't play, like, sort of um, Fire and Ice or Body and Mind, we'll be okay, since he can't give himself protection from mind control. Oh, goodness. I like, I like this deck. I really, I want to use a reason to run Godsend, and this seems like it. Oh. I think our opponent realized that he, having to mulling to like four, cost him the game, but uh, it was a fun game anyway. 